see the more mature crowd, if you don't mind me saying so. That's going from the kids, because I think kids should be about 18 years old. Wouldn't be wonderful. You'd walk into the maternity ward, the head would pop out, and you'd say, you're getting a flat, or what? <laughs> it's a lot of years old, is it? With mummy said, I want to bike. She said, you can't have a bike. He said, I want to bike. She said, you can't have one, for God's sake. Go and play. He said, what do you play with me? Can we play mummies and daddies, eight years old? He said, you go upstairs, lay on the bed in your nightgown. I'll be up like my dad in a couple of minutes. <laughs> well, bless him, eight years old, he put his dad's suits on, his dad's boots on, size 10, and he struggled up the steps. He got to the top of the steps and struggled in through the bedroom door, and his mum's there, laid in the bed in the nightgown. He said, hey, get yourself off that bed and go and buy that ladder mine a bike. <laughs> Not what you think they're going to be, are they? <laughs> and before I go any further, I would like to thank the local council for making such a marvellous job of keeping the directions of this place a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Take some bloody finding this, do not it? Tell you what, if the Iraqis invade, I'm coming here. <laughs> Are we going to get nice and friendly as well? Find out you're all from. I'm from Yorkshire. Hey! <laughs> That's <tough. laughs> I have a beautiful little picturesque fishing village called uh, Bradford. <laughs> I was working in Bradford now, I was the only coloured comic on the show. <laughs> and I'm not being racist because you can't dislike me just because you're a different colour. I mean, look at that fat of my whip bread. You know, if that's not Colonel Gaddafi, lad, I'll eat my bloody ass. <laughs> I told her I went out with her, but she chucked me. Give <laughs> <laughs> me a few minutes on that one. And, uh... In Scotland, any Scottish people in? Yes. Have you spent your pound? <laughs> Where else in Scotland are you from? Sure. Nice to see you. I've been in Glasgow a few weeks ago, went to a fight there, and a football match broke out. <laughs> And there's two fellas in opposite beds in the hospital and one looked over at the other one and he said, Scottish. And the fella in the opposite bed said, Irish. He said, Jock. And the fella in the opposite bed said, Paddy. He said, Cancer. He said, Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> God love you. Nice to see you from Ireland. The best set of humour in the world. Two started gliding when I goes into a pub. He said, he said, we'll have a double whiskey and a bottle of beer. And give everybody in the pub a double whiskey and a bottle of beer. The barman said, that'll cost you a bomb. He said, it's under that table over there. <laughs> Two solid little Irish fella goes into a pub, see another Irish fella. He says, is it yourself? He said, it is. <laughs> he said, you've got an empty glass, would you like another one? He said, what would I want with two empty glasses? <laughs> he said, you're from Ireland? He said, so am I. <laughs> he said, will you have a drink with me and another Irish fella, by another Irish fella, a drink? Barman, two lot, Jameson's over here. He said, whereabouts in Ireland are you coming from? He said, Tipperary. Good God, he said, that's a long way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a joke, you started it. <laughs> you know you deserve me, innit? You know. <laughs> and this is what we should be doing, coming out and enjoying ourselves, am I right? Yes. You don't watch around the corner. When I die, I want to die like my granddad, happily in his sleep. Not screaming and shouting like his passengers. <laughs> We laugh at one another, it doesn't matter where we come from. Little Jewish fella died, God bless him. I thought I'd go and put a little piece in it, but should he come up? So she goes to the local page, she said, how much is it? He said, it's a pound a word. She said, just put Cohen, dead. <laughs> he said, we can't do that, he's got a minimum of five words. She'll put Cohen, dead, Volvo for sale. <laughs> Dead about two years that I'll go and get in touch with on the other side, you know, bring him down, speak to one of them um, spiritists, what they call them, averages. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
came down to the other side and said, oh, Ben, you should be ever so worried about you. I wonder if it's all right. Is it all right that it's gorgeous on the other side, the sun shines all day long? She'd been out flying this afternoon, she said, flying, she said. All them years I was married to you, all them years I wanted to go to Mallorca, bloody Blackpool every year, she wouldn't fly there. He said, I was swimming yesterday, she said, swimming, she said. All them years I was married to you, you wouldn't go near the water. He said, I'm making love to everything. I've got a different bird every night of the week. She said, you wasn't like that when you were married to me, for God's sake. He said, I wasn't a bloody duck then, was I? <laughs> Anybody from Yorkshire? Yes! So you can always tell when the Yorkshire people are here. You can hear them at the bar with a Yorkshire war cry. How much? <laughs> God love you, nice to see you from Yorkshire. What about the North East? Yes! Where about? So nice accent if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> nice place, nice part of the little from Newcastle, I went to the doctor. Said, Every time I lift my arm up, it smells of coconut. And the doctor said, why, it's bound me. <laughs> now they haven't got a clue. <laughs> they haven't got a clue what we're on about now. <laughs> God love you, nice to see you matter where we come from, you're proper people, we enjoy yourself, live every day as your last, then one day you'll be right. <laughs> I went to the doctor, I said, oh, some good news, we got some bad news. He said, what's the bad news? He said, you're a puff. He said, what's the good news? He said, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and these hundreds, I did summer season in Blackpool, there's millions of them. There was two on the front, Cecil and Herbert. And Cecil fell in the water, he's fighting for his life. Herbert and Ove said, Cecil, Cecil! <laughs> Keep fighting them, I'll throw you a boy! He said, for Christ's sake, don't tease me, I'm drowning! <laughs> little woman went to the doctor and said, you've got sugar in your water. She said, how do you know? He said, your knickers are full of candy floss. <laughs> I said, you? He said, all you think about is drink. Drink, drink, drink. He said, that's all you've ever done with your life. He said, you married a woman called Sherry. <laughs> so I said, so the fellow said, you're just as bad as all you think about is money. Money, money, money. He said, you've made a god of money. He said, you married a woman called Penny. <laughs> he said, the fellow next to me got up. He said, come on, Fanny, we're not stopping here again, <laughs> Do you know my mother had killed me if she would hear me? She, <laughs> she thinks I'm an accountant. <laughs> Cos that's the women, you see the women treat us rotten, don't they, fellas? Yes. Christ, what a bunch of cowards in here! <laughs> Fell into the docks and he got six hours to live. He's better go home and tell the wife. When he went home, she opened the door and said, Good God, Charlie, look as if you've seen a ghost. He said, Well, I've been to the docks. The doctor tells me I've got six hours to live. Oh, she said, what would you like to do with your six hours? That's what I thought. <laughs> he said, we're a happy long relationship for all these years. I'd like to just go upstairs. I'd like to lay on the bed and make mad, passionate love to you. Well, they went upstairs and they made love. She said, Charlie, you've got five hours and 59 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last night I said, I'm quicker. <laughs> What would you like to do with your five hours? He said, get back in that bed. And he made love to once again. She went down, she cooked him a nice big dinner and some cocoa to keep his strength up. She said, Charlie, you've only got three hours left. What do you want to do? He said, get back to the door. Come off it, Charlie. After get up in the morning, you haven't. <laughs> The hospital, he said, oh, he said, oh, uh, hello, darling. He said, what, he said, what, he said, what, he said, what are you, what are you, what are you doing in here? He said, I've come in here for an operation. He said, an oh, 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 operation. He said, what, he said, what, he said, 
what it, it, it stuttered this fella. It's what it, <laughs> He said, what, he said, what have you come in here for an o, 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 operation for? He said, I've come in here for an operation on my prostate gland. He said, you perp, <laughs> you perp, perp, prostate gland. He said, what, he said, what, he said, he said, what are you having an operation on your perp, 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 prostate gland for? He said, because I used to pee like you talk. <laughs> We've got a Chinese fellow living next door to me. And the other day, a fellow came from the soap company and knocked at the door. He said, Good afternoon, sir. I'm from the soap company. Do you wash in tight? He said, Yes, I wash in tight. <laughs> he said, Why do you wash in tight? He said, Too bloody cold out tight. <laughs> you did the actions and everything then, didn't you? That's it, then you make us laugh. Did you? <laughs> Sick by Wednesday. Now, this. This is an old Elvis Presley song, because there is no new ones. It was... It was recorded and released about 29 years ago. It's originally called, she was only the fishmonger's daughter, but she lay on the slab and said, fill it. <laughs> you probably know it better as, don't go down to the shrimp bowls, because daddy's come home with the crabs. It's a lovely song. <laughs> Please join in, if you will. You make us laugh. Thank you. A uh, one, a two, a three, a four. Girls, Elvis.
<laughs> do look after yourselves and, uh, and uh, if anybody's drinking and driving, well, get some beer down here. Because <laughs> the police are very, very, very sarcastic around here. I got pulled up leaving this establishment. He said, I've been following you for 20 minutes. I said, the answer's still no. <laughs> This is to his breathalyzer that broke into a piece of chalk down the road. He said, walk down there. And I walked down. He said, sir, I have to say, you are staggering. I said, look, you're a good-looking lad yourself, but the answer is no. 